Regional cooperation is crucial in the fight against piracy and armed robbery against ships. This is why signatory states to the Djibouti Code of Conduct joined forces in the repression of piracy and armed robbery against ships in the Western Indian Ocean and the Gulf of Aden by signing the Djibouti Code of Conduct in 2009. They committed to sharing and reporting relevant information through a system of national focal points and information centers. The Djibouti Code of Conduct signatories have broadened its scope to cover other illicit maritime activities, including organized crime in the maritime sector, maritime terrorism, human trafficking, and illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing. The revised code is known as the Jeddah Amendment to the Djibouti Code of Conduct 2017. Today, signatory states are channeling their cooperative efforts into the implementation of the expanded code. With support from IMO and other stakeholders, these actions will help strengthen the development of a robust maritime sector and contribute to Goal 14 and 16 of the Sustainable Development Goals under the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Implementation of the code hinges upon four pillars. Capacity building, regional training, national legislation, and information sharing. Its structure includes a steering committee, two working groups, and friends of the DCOC being the implementing partners. To bring a unified vision for the code, a branding exercise was carried out in 2020, and a new logo and website were created. Having access to a common pool of information is essential to share key data among members of the working group, and that is where the new website comes in. Providing factual, timely and relevant information on the code's inner workings, where signatory states, DCOC friends, maritime stakeholders, and interested members of the public can find credible content in various formats to suit their needs. Visit dcoc.org to get more information about the code, its amendment, its people, and its work.